kitchen. Now on the Cakes Manage YouTube channel I like to do a variety of videos so whether you're new to cake decorating, whether you're here just looking for ideas or maybe you want a little bit of a challenge and I realise that I haven't done any technique videos for a while so if you're new to cake decorating or maybe you're progressing from cupcakes onto slightly larger cakes I thought for this week's video I would show you how I cover my cakes in buttercream and get those nice smooth sides. Now if you like this kind of video then make sure you subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. You can also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Okay, let's get started. So in order to create our buttercream cake, these are the things that you're gonna need. First of all, I've got two six inch vanilla sponge cakes and these ones both measure around two inches in height. Now I will put a link in the description below to the recipe that I've used to create these cakes. I've also got a batch of vanilla buttercream. Now this is an American buttercream and I've just colored it in a light pink color. And again, I will put a link in the description below if you want the recipe for that. I've also got a board that my cakes are sitting on, so I'm just using a glass board, and underneath is just a small turntable, a small offset spatula, and my metal smoothing tool. Now, this one measures five inches in length. You just want one that's going to be slightly bigger than the height of your cake. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is prepare my cakes so that they're ready for us to fill with buttercream. Okay, so I've got my cakes here, and as you can see, where they've been baked, you've got this slight dome on the top. Now I want to level these out so that when I stack them they will be nice and flat on the top. Taking a serrated knife I'm going to start just at the edge just before it starts to curve over. Just start to trim that off so I'm just moving the cake all the way around so that it's nice and level and if you've got any excess on the top we just want to take that off. So we've got one layer of cake with a nice flat top. Now I'm going to divide this in to two making sure that I've Turn the cake so that it's nice and even all the way through and that's going to give us our first two layers of cake. Do exactly the same with the other cake so that we have four layers in order to stack. Now I baked my cake yesterday and I have had it in the fridge overnight just to firm up slightly to make it easier to cut the cake but as soon as it returns back to room temperature we get this nice fluffy consistency got my board with my turntable and I've just popped a small piece of non-slip mat underneath. I'm then going to take my first layer of cake and taking some of that pink buttercream, smooth that over the top. Now personally I like my buttercream to be around five millimeters in height and this means that you haven't got too much buttercream in between your layers to squidge out from the sides. I can then take my next layer of cake and just pop that on the top. Do exactly the same, so just taking some of that buttercream and just smoothing it over the surface. Now if you want to fill your cake with something other than buttercream, maybe some jam or some different kind of filling on the inside or maybe you cover your cakes in fondant and you find as they sit dry and you get slight bulges where the buttercream is oozing out from the sides, we can create a dam. So I've just popped some buttercream in a piping bag, snipped off the end, giving us an opening of around a centimetre. I can then run this around the edge of my cake. Now fill your cake with any filling of your choice and it will just stop it coming out from the sides. Once your four layers have been stacked it's now time to add a crumb coat. Now all a crumb coat is is just a very thin layer of buttercream that just goes on the top and around the sides of the cake and this just helps to lock in any of those loose crumbs that we find on the side so that when it comes to adding our final coat of buttercream it's nice and smooth and there's no imperfection. So to start with I'm going to take my offset spatula and around the sides smooth out that buttercream. Now all we're trying to do is fill in any gaps between those layers so that there's no air pockets. So I'm pushing in the buttercream around where those layers join. Now at this point, before I add any buttercream on the top, you might just want to take a small spirit level. Now this is a spirit level that I've only ever used for cakes. Take a small piece of parchment paper, just so it's not coming into contact with the cake. And this just allows you to push on that cake and make sure that the cake is completely level. As you can see, in order to level it up, some of that buttercream has just squished out of the side. So I can just catch that when I add 
my crumb coat. So I'm popping some of that buttercream on the top of my cake in a nice thin layer. And I'm also gonna run some more around that side just so the whole cake is covered. So for your buttercream, you wanna make sure that it's at room temperature so it's nice and easy to spread. Once we've got a coating of buttercream all the way around, I'm gonna take my metal scraper. Now you wanna keep the bottom of your scraper directly on the board that you're using and this is gonna allow you to get nice straight edges on the side. Just start dragging it round as I move the cake. We're just trying to scrape off some of that buttercream which is gonna give us those smooth sides that this is the crumb coat. We don't want it to be too thick. Now on this side, I can see that the cake is slightly missing the gap. So we need a little bit more buttercream. Now, as I take off any excess from applying my crumb coat, I'm gonna add this buttercream into a different bowl to the buttercream that I'm gonna use for covering the cake on the final layer. And the reason for this is just as I pull that scraper around the cake, it's just picking up some of those loose crumbs. And I don't want you to be able to see these on the final cake. Now, in order to smooth the top, which will give us a nice base for our final coating of buttercream, take my offset spatula, hold it against the edge and just pull back. So once your cake has a nice thin layer of buttercream all the way over the outside, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for around 15 to 20 minutes. Now all we want is the butter in our buttercream to firm up. So I've taken my cake out of the fridge and that buttercream is just firm to the touch. Now my bowl of buttercream has been just sitting at room temperature while my cake has been in the fridge. And you wanna make sure before you add the next coating that you mix it up with a spatula just to get out any of the air bubbles that have formed where it's been sitting. Now for the next coating, I want this to be around four to five millimeters in thickness. So I'm gonna take some of my buttercream and just start on the top. When adding the buttercream, I wanna make sure that it just overhangs the cake slightly. And I'm gonna go all the way around the cake now, when we run our scraping tool around the edge, I wanna take off some of the buttercream just so we're left with a really smooth finish. So you want the buttercream that we're adding now to be slightly thicker. Now, making sure that the bottom of the scraper is always touching my glass board, I'm gonna push the scraper slightly into the buttercream. And just as I did before, turn my board, just smoothing off. Now, as I'm scraping it around, if there's any areas where I can still see cake, I'm gonna add some more buttercream. And also, if there's any holes or gaps, especially on this top edge where the scraper is not picking it up. Now, I'm making sure that each time I run the scraper around, that edge is nice and clean from any buttercream that was previously on there. Now, I personally find once I've run around one way, if I just drag it back other way, it just helps to smooth off that side. Now, if you are struggling to get out any of the last imperfections and you're using a metal scraper, what you can do is slightly heat up the scraper. Now, you could do this just under a hot tap or you could have a dish of boiling water. You just wanna submerge that long edge that you're using against the cake and make sure that once it's slightly warmed up, you wipe off any water before you use it on the cake. Now, all this is gonna do is just by warming up the scraper, you're just warming up that outer layer of buttercream, just melting it slightly to get that smooth finish. So there we have the outside of the cake. Now the next thing to do is just clean up that top edge and give us a nice smooth top of our cake. So along this top edge, we've got a layer of buttercream that has been pulled up as we've pulled the scrape around. So just as we did before, I'm gonna take my offset spatula and just pull it from the outside edge, just pulling it in, taking off any excess buttercream before I go back in. Again, just pulling through. And just work your way around until it's nice and even. Pop in some buttercream in any of those gaps, just like we did on the outside. Now, once I've pulled in all the edges, I'm gonna go back in just with my smoothing tool, smoothing off that top edge. So I'm hardly taking any buttercream off, lightly placing it on top, working the cake around until you're completely happy with how that cake is looking. 
there you have your finished buttercream cake which is now ready to decorate either by applying your decoration straight onto the buttercream or you might want to cover your cake in fondant now if you are applying fondant over the top then just as we did before I would pop the cake back in the fridge for around 20 to 30 minutes so that that buttercream is completely solid so that when you drape the fondant over the top you're not going to ruin any of the smoothness that you've created now if you are planning on covering your cake in fondant and you want to see how I cover my cakes then I do have another video which I will link in the description below if you would find that useful I really hope you've enjoyed the video tutorial and will find it useful in your own cake decorating if you have enjoyed the video as always don't forget to give it a like just so I know and if you know somebody who would also find this video useful then don't forget to share it with them so until next time bye